the Justice for All program is in the northern region for two days. At today's sitting, 32 applications were dealt with. Speaking to the media after the sitting, presiding judge, Justice C.J. Honyanuga expressed worry about the increased cases of murder. He said it was a worrying situation for the country. My uh, observation, another observation is that we, we had a lot of murder cases. And like we had in Uru the other time, uh, I think something ought to be done about this. Murder is becoming too much in this country. Almost everywhere we go, Meda tries to or it's, 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 it tries to form a greater part of the cases that we do. And uh, I think the authorities uh, involved should uh, sit up better than they are doing now. I think everybody has to be vigilant and uh, to, 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 to put in preventive major, measures, you know. For example, people just shooting people just at random using color accent. For example, one of the cases that I had, the person just choose an accent finish off his, his fellow human being. That's, that's just too, 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 too bad. It's too bad. And it, it's becoming rampant throughout the country. It's every prison that we, uh, we go to, the murder cases form the majority, which is, which is not too good for all of us in Ghana. He said congestion rates in prisons have decreased from 32% in 2007 to 12%. Justice Honyanuga said this is the first time the program would be held in district prisons. Yes, and the congestion rate has come down to 33%. It was from 33% that's in 2007. Yes, now it's about 12%. And uh, uh, yes, tomorrow we are continuing to the local prison in Salada. Uh, and then from there, we'll continue to Navrumbo prison. And then uh, I must also add that uh, uh, going to Salada will be the first time that the program, the Justice for program, will be held there. And also in uh, Navrumbo, we have never held a program over there. So that will be our first time. Of the exercise is to decongest the prisons. Uh, those uh, who have been on remand for so long uh, and who should not have been, yes, we consider them and consider granting bail to them or discharge them. Uh, that is the Northern Regional Public Relations Officer of the Prison Service, David Afacho, said the Tamale Central Prison was built to contain 78 inmates but currently it houses about 234. He appealed for support for the construction of more housing in the prison. This prison was built to take the capacity of 78 inmates. But as of this morning, our lockup was at 234. So exercise like this comes to relieve us of this pressure. The Roman prison is supposed to house 16 prisoners. But today, we are having about 104 prisoners in custody. So with this number, this 32, even it is not all who have been admitted to bail. Taking the seven out, you agree with me that there is still pressure on the facility. So we are leading to NGOs, if they can support, putting up a single story or add additional burden. Since others have cases that cannot be admitted to bail so that we will be able to house them in those facilities. Thank you. We are shot in